Welcome to Yoga with Dongs. Today let's start from standing position. With your feet hip width apart. Now let's do circles for the hips. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Change the direction. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Explore the hips. Feel free to do however you feel like. It is all about warming up, connecting to your body. You can pay attention to your breath. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Let's go for a figure eight. So inhaling to right, exhaling back. Try to draw the figure eight with your hips. Inhale right, exhale. Synchronize the movement to the breath. First comes the breath, then follow the movement. Same direction. Inhaling, the left, exhaling back. Same thing, just the making circles to the other side. Let's go for a bit of a shoulder. Stand in the middle, and the hips for a moment. Inhaling, bring the shoulders up. Exhaling down, rolling and forward. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhale up. Exhale. Now we're just warming up. We're having about 40 to 45 minutes class today. So feel free to step around. Today I'm also testing if I can do the nice recordings and streaming through Zoom. So later on, I can invite people to join my classes and so on Zoom. So if you're interested also joining me live on Zoom, let me know in the comments or just drop me a private message. We'll do the same thing on the back side. Inhaling, shoulders up and back. Yesterday we did it. Time with some salutations. So today it's nice idea to do a bit more relaxing stretching for the shoulders and for the wrists. Inhale up. Excellent. Let's go for a bit more dynamic exercise. So inhale, bring the shoulders up, heels up, exhale up. Inhale up, exhale up. Inhale up, shoulders up, squeeze and back, exhale up. Let your heels slam into the ground. Inhale up, wind up, exhale up. And feel free to squeeze all the body. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Release. Two more times. Inhale up, squeeze the whole body, especially the shoulders up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, wind up. Release. Well, let's do twisting circles. Slapping around with your hands. Let me release. Try to initiate the movement through the hips and your arms slapping around freely. So this is more or less, more well, not perfect at this, but idea is to have arms slapping around. So if you stop the impulse, the arms stop in their own. So they're not very actually controlled like a pendulum. So you initiate the movement through the hips and then let the arms follow along the posted. Opposite of that, what I don't want you to do is do a roll off. This is not good. So, try to pay attention if, you're, if your arms are loosely. So, let's try to do a bit more difficult. So, we're trying to tap on the stomach and in forward and kidneys on the backwards. Doing the same thing, just a little, trying to bend the elbow at the very last moment. So, your arms are still very loosely going on. All right, go next level. Or the chest. Tapping on the chest. 
Now it's getting a bit more difficult to relax the shoulders, relax the arms, and having them still loose. Because now you have to control just one muscle. The one muscle which is responsible for bending the elbow. So then let's go for tapping on the shoulders. It's even more difficult. Well, let's go in the middle. And inhalation, green arms up, the heels up, and down. So, bring your arms circling forward. Inhale up. Exhale. You can also bring the heels off the ground, reaching up. Exhale down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Try to bring arms as back as you walk. Can open your chest, reaching up, exhale down. Change direction, inhaling up and backwards. Exhale down. Inhaling up, reach up, exhale down. Inhaling up, exhale down. Inhaling up, exhale down. For the next exercise, you can keep your legs on your toes or completely four feet in the ground. So you bring your right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale it up. Exhale it up. Synchronize the movement with the breath. So while inhaling, you bring your hand up. Once you're done, your hand stops up. Exhale it up. If your breath stops, your hand stops. If your breath doesn't stop, and doesn't stop. Inhaling up. Try to pay notice if your breath is fluent uh, or it stops. And do the same with the hands. Inhaling up. Exhaling up. Let's go for the other side. Inhaling left hand forward, right hand back. Inhaling up. Exhaling up. So we switch side. Before we had the right hand back, now we're coming. So right hand forward, now we have the left hand forward. So we go down with exhalation, and the next inhalation, left hand forward, right hand back. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Well, bring your heels on the ground if you have them all up, shake your legs if you need to. Now let's go for a squat. Go down, sitting into the squat. If you're able to be your feet fully on the ground and walk, um, try to wobble from side to side, hands in front of the prey position. Let's circle the wrists here. It's still like quite a practice. So, if you're practicing hand balancing as well, I recommend you to do the warm ups for the wrists every time before and after. So, that's a pretty important thing to notice and remember. So from here, let's bring your arms on your knees, exhaling right knee on the ground, inhaling up, exhaling left, inhaling up, exhaling right, open up the chest, uh, inhaling up, exhaling left, open up the chest, inhaling up. Well done. From here, let's go for a forward bend. You can try to bring your arms down to the ground, so measure the distance where you can put your head. Maybe it's here, maybe you can do make two fists. And that's about my limit for today. At the moment, maybe with a little bit of practice, I can bring my head, my forehead closer to the ground. Keep measuring to see where you are. Hold it for three in a forward bend. Try to bring your head closer to your Two and one. Inhalation, open up the arms in a cross. Sit here in a squat. Try to find the balance here. If you bring your arms more to the back, it's more difficult to open up the chest. You will stay here for three. Arms facing upwards. Two and one. Well done. Let's go from here from the squat. 
Uh, I usually like to do, you know, this little breath of fire. So, from breath of fire, I usually like to do opening up the wrists and fists, like doing like this. So, breath of fire, for those of you who join me for the first time, it's a rapid exhalation through the nose. Inhalation comes automatically, and then you go for the next round. Rapidly exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. You will soon know here how it looks like, how it sounds like. And while exhaling, you try to contract of the no muscles inside. So we do like 50, 60 rounds, count yourself, and when you feel done, stop here, take a couple of moments of learning of it. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale through the middle and stop. Just go on all speed. Under normal breathing, observe your breath. Feel free to move your hips from side to side. And from here, let's circle your wrists and let's go for a crow pose. You bring your arms down on the ground. Lift your legs higher up. Maybe today you're still a wrist quite stiff when you don't go for the full pose. You just build up and stay here for three, two, and one. Let's go for a baby crow pose. So we bring our forearms on the ground. This is more suitable for the people with a bit more high wrist like me. So you go with your forearms on the ground, bring your um, knees on your arms, and lift up. A bit more strange posture, but maybe a bit easier to find a balance. Stay here for three, two, enjoy the baby crow, and one. Well done. Let's go for a table cup. Let's do a cat and cat. Inhale, open up the chest, tilt nose upward, chin up, exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Let's go for twist. Bringing your right shoulder down on the ground. Inhale, left arm up. Hold it for three, or have an arm behind the back. Try to grab either side of the right leg. Hold it for three more breaths. Deep inhale to the belly. Exhale, twist it. Even more, moving up. Inhale. Feel your belly coming out. Exhale, relax. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. You can slowly exit posture or try to lift your right or left leg. Just to see if you can hold the balance on your right shoulder with one leg. Exhale down to the middle and join everyone else who just want to do the things they know. Let's go for the left shoulder on the ground. Same thing for the other side. Inhaling, lift your right hand up. You can hold it here, or optionally bring it behind the back and try to find inner thigh of the left leg. Let's take the three deep breath here, feeling the belly going up. Inhale, exhale, just a bit more. Inhale, 
Inhaling with your right hand up, optionally lift your right leg and grab it by ankle. Open up the hip, hold it up here, see it opens. Exhale down and come up to the tabletop. Let's go for puppy pose. So bring your arms forward and try to bring your chest close to the ground. Maybe even that should be fine. Open for three, two, one, well done. From here, straighten your legs down on the ground. Relax, shake them side to side. Bring your arms up in across and go for a twist here. Twisting towards your right hand, right side, bending your left, right, so it's left leg. Always get confused with these uh, twisting positions. So left leg up, left arm up. You can hold it here like this, twisting your right shoulder, stretching it out, or maybe even bringing your both hands behind the back and interlacing. Your right leg still up, opening up. The chest staying here on the ground, twisting and stretching your right shoulder for three, two, and one. Inhaling, lift your left arm up if you have it behind, exhaling. Bring it down, back to the middle. Let's go, same for the other side. So inhale, bring your right hand up, bend your right leg. Looking up, you can stay here, twisting and stretching your shoulder, or bring your right hand behind the back, maybe have a bind. You can see maybe it's possible, maybe it's not. Relax here, opening up the hip, Looking up for three, two, and one. Inhaling, right hand up. Exhaling down to the middle. Relax on the ground. Now let's go for, I think it's called lotus. You bend your legs, grab your ankles. Inhaling, lift up, lift the chest up. Open up the chest. Try to keep your legs hip width apart. Open up the chest, lift up. Bring your legs forward, grabbing by the ankles. Maybe go or there's some swings. Inhale, feel your belly lifting up. Exhale down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Synchronize your movement with your breath. Inhale. It's well done. One more inhale. Exhale down. Let's roll to the right side, keeping your arms and legs in the same position. Opening up for three. Relax here. Two and one. Inhaling back to the middle. Lift up. Exhale down. Your left. Same thing to the other side. Hold it for three. Two and one. Inhaling back to the middle. Let's go up for the bird pose. Yeah. Or airplane. So lifting up your legs, lifting up your arms, lifting up your chest. To the back. All the way three. Lifting up. Two and one. You can call it here for two more, but go relaxing or go up for Superman. With your hands up. Three. Two, and one. Well done. Lower yourself down and down. And let's go up for an upward facing dog. So for upward facing dog, you have your palms flat on the ground, feet flat, open at the chest, shoulders back and down, you look up. All in for three, two, and one. Exhale and twist to your left. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhaling to the middle. 
Exhale, twist to your right. One, two, three. Two. And one. Inhalation to the middle. Exhalation down on the ground. Let's go for sphinx. Down on the forearms. Open up the chest. Four. Hips. Flat on the ground. Opening up the feet flat. Four, three, four, three. Opening up the chest. Two. Maybe bring your shoulders back and down. Shoulders less closer to each other. One, exhale, down the ground. Let's push back into the child's pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let's go with the flow. Inhaling, open up towards the upper facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, open. Exhale. Close to the child's pose. Let's do one more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, close to the child's pose. Inhalation. Let's sit up. Tuck your toes under. Lift up. Right arm up. Arms behind the back. Grab them. Touch sit on your heels here. On your toes. You can stay here or go for a twist. For the Left side, your right hand up, right elbow behind the back. Try to have a bind behind the back with your both arms. If you're not able to do it, have a reach here. You can use a shawl or something else to help you have a bind. Keep twisting for three, two. If you're not able to sit the whole duration on your toes, don't worry. With a regular practice, this skill will come like you understood. Inhalation to the middle, exhalation release, shake your arms, relax. Going for the wrist to the other side. Inhalation with your left arm up, bend the elbow, grab them behind the back. Exhale, twist towards your right. Hold it for three, two, just a bit more. One. Inhalation to the middle. Well done. Exhalation to the Let's go for camel pose. Sit up. Open up the hips. Arms on your waist. And hips going forward. Option one. Just feel lean backwards. The hips going forward. Stay here. Option two. Try to grab your legs on your heels. With your hips still going forward. And opening up the chest. Hold for three, two, and one. Inhaling up. Now let's sit down, keep it with your legs. So keep those flat. Try to bring your knees closer to each other and try to bring your sitting bones between your heels. Heels closer to the sitting bones, but uh, slightly outside. Option one, just stay here. Trying to stretch your legs, feel the pose. If you feel any pain in the knees, uh, be careful. Either exit the portion completely, or anytime you feel the pain, you exit the portion. Or anytime you feel the pain during the practice, uh, all depending on what kind of pain it is, but most likely it's safer to stop the practice and avoid the pain. If it's a sweet pain, you enjoy, you know it's not that uh, you feel that it's not doing any damage. You might tolerate it for a while you know, because you don't say no pain, no gain. So, if you're in doubt, stop the practice if you feel any pain. If you know what you're doing on your own, do it in your own responsibility. So, option one, stay up. Option two, just lower yourself down on the ground, relaxing on the ground. Okay, with the time. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's go up. If we can do it today, leg up. Bring your legs together. Relax. Circle the ankles. 
cross the legs and sit back. And let's go for Navasana. My, one of my favorite poses, Navasana. So try to have your legs parallel to your arms, next to legs. Chest open, straight in the stomach. You can always use your hands for support here or lean back if you feel that this helps you. Option one, stay here. Option two, straighten your legs. My for today, let's hold it here for three and let's go for twist. Three, two, take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist towards your left. So you keep your legs bent from the run. You can grab your elbows and twist towards your left. Hold it for three, legs go to the right, elbows to the left. Two, Try to maintain the legs active and parallel so you have this nice posture. One, well done. Inhalation to the middle, exhalation, twist towards your right. Looking here to your right, maybe over your shoulder. Legs go left, elbows right. Two, and one. Inhaling to the middle. Let's bring the arms above the head in a forward crystal. Bring your knees closer to the chest. Reaching up, hold it for three, two, and one. Hug your knees closer to the chest. Relax here on a balancing on your sitting bones. Try not to touch your toes on the ground. Hold it for three, two, one. Let's cross the legs, arms around, foot to the Inhalation, lift up. Back off the ground. Optionally, lift your legs as well. Don't worry if you're having your legs on the ground. Hold it for three, two, and one. Exhaling down and round. Back to Navasana. Hold it for three. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Feel your belly open at the chest. Exhale. Well done. One more inhale here. Exhale. Twist towards your left. Bend your legs parallel to the ground. Grab your elbows. Hold it for three. Try to have this nice posture. Two. Alignment. One. Inhalation to the middle. Exhalation. Twist towards your right. It's not only it looks nice if you have this nice alignment. It also shows if you're paying attention to your posture and you're aware of your body, body awareness. Good, hold it. Inhalation to the middle, exhalation, arms over the head in a forward pistol, knees to the chest. Hold it for three, two, and one. Hug your knees closer to the chest. Stay here in the balance. Three, two, and one. Well done. Cross the legs, arms and run. Lift your butt off the ground. Hold it for three, two, and one. Third and final round of Navasana. And straighten your legs, open up the chest. Hold it for three, two, and one. let's change things up. Right uh, arms in a forward pistol, right leg down, over the ground, over, left leg up, arms on the left side of the left, left leg. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation, both arms up, both legs up, exhalation, bring your left leg down, hovering above the ground, right leg up, arms on the right side of your right leg. Hold it for three, two, one, inhale up, exhale, restore to your left, right leg down. Hold it for three, two, smile, enjoy the practice. One, inhale and up, exhale down. Express the gratitude throughout the class. And this will give you energy. Restore to your right for three, two, and one, inhalation, bend the legs, arms up in the form of the pistol. Hold for three. Remember that 
the most energy draining actions either from your mind. So if you're worried, have any doubts, this takes your energy from your practice. So do the opposite, be grateful, have a smile and enjoy the practice. And you will have more energy than you will be Relax. Let's go for Utpulti, exhalation, bring arms and up. Inhalation, lift up, but forward for three, two, and one. Well done. Let's sit up into the balancing squat. Here, you lift your heels up the mouth. Arms up. Open up the chest. Forward for three, two, one. Inhalation, lift up in the chair pose. In between, tilt the pelvis floor. Open up the chest. You can keep your heels up the ground as well. Arms your chair, opening your chest. Call it for three, two, and one. Inhalation, straighten the legs, arms still up. Heels off the ground, reaching forward. Call it for three, two, one. Let's take a walk towards the beginning of the mat. If you're not really in the mat, you can walk also backwards. Walk towards the beginning of the mat. Once you find yourself on top of the mat, you can take also a couple of steps back, doing any walk on your toes. And once you're on the top of the mat, exhale, bring arms down, over to the side, into the mountain pose. Let the pelvis forward, contraction of the knee muscles. Open up the chest, shoulders back and down, chin back in, top of the head, pointing upwards. Straight through the spine. Let's go for Surya Namaskar. Ah. Inhalation, arms go up. Exhalation, forward and all the way down. Relax. Inhalation, halfway up. Spine parallel to the ground. Shoulder blades together. Exhalation, arms around, jump or step back into the plank, lower plank. It's the first salutation, so don't worry if you're mid step inhalation up with the single exhalation down with the seat here and down with the seat. Dog, this is the first dog of the day, so I recommend walking the dog. Dog needs to walk regular walks, so make sure you walk your dog regularly. And in order to walk your dog, you need first need to get in your downward facing dog. So it's very important to walk the dog. This is quite universal posture because it works on quite a lot of body parts. A nice stretch for your shoulders, strengthening your wrists, stretching the legs, lift up the hips, straightening the spine. Remember to relax the neck and look in between your legs. Also measure your distance. So you're not planking or forward and you're feeling a bit of tension in your shoulders. And with inhalation, jump or step forward. It's like half a spine part of your open up the chest and exhale forward and all the way. Relax. Inhale, stand up, arms up. Exhale, mountain pose. Let's go for Surya Namaskar. Then, inhalation, bend the knees, chair pose, arms go up. Exhaling, straighten the legs forward. Inhaling, half it. Spine, parallel to the ground. Exhaling, arms are gone. Jump or step back into the plank, lower plank. Well done. Inhalation, open up into the upward facing goal. Feet back, open chest. Exhaling. Um, the facing dog. Inhalation, you can lift your right leg and three leg dog, but then bring it forward, bend the knee and at your angle into the warrior one, lifting the chest, lifting the arms, facing forward. And with exhalation, arms go down, down, step back into the lower plank. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, down facing dog. Well then, inhalation, bring your left leg. Up and in between your arms. Inhaling, lift your arms up with the warrior one. Exhaling down. Step back into the lower plank. Inhaling, upward facing up. Exhaling, 
Brahma of It's called the four three. Two. One. Inhaling. Jump or step forward. Half way up. Spine parallel to the mouth. Exhaling forward. Inhalation with the knees, chair pose, arms up. Exhaling, mountain pose. Let's go to another vinyasa until we end up in a dolphin. Inhalation, arms up. Exhalation, all the way, all the way down. Inhalation, half up. Spine, follow to the ground. Exhaling, jump or step back to the plank, lower plank. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Now you have a free option. You can do quite a lot of things from here. You can stay down facing dog, many twists, turns. You can go for a child's pose or you go for a dolphin. Let's stay here for dolphin for three, two, and one. You can continue with dolphin or go for a headstand, shoulder stand. No, oh, sorry, headstand or pinch my rasin. If you go for Pincha Mayurasana, then you pick up on your forearms and try to find the balance here. Use the wall. If you worry, you might fall over. But just, yeah. Choose your variation, dolphin, child's pose, Pincha Mayurasana, or headstand. For three, position, two, and one, slowly and control, pull yourself down and let me meet everyone down in a child's pose. Well done. And with an inhalation, let's go up to the downward facing down. Inhalation, jump or step forward, half a spine parallel to the ground, exhaling forward. Inhalation, stand up, arms up. Exhalation, mountain pose. Let's go for a dancing warrior. So inhalation, bring your left arm up, right leg bent at the ankle. You can stay here or optionally go for a dancing warrior, leaning forward, lifting your right knee, straightening your leg, reaching backwards, left arm forward, hold it for three. Two and one. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Well done. Let's go for other side. Bend your left leg, inhaling right hand up, exhaling forward. And lifting your left leg back and up, right hand forward, reaching. Hold it for three, two. And one, inhaling up, exhaling down. Let's find our way down on the ground, onto the seated position. On your way, sit down into partial Bhantanasana. Inhalation, arms up, exhalation, forward. Inhaling, open up the chest slightly more, exhaling, forward. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhalation, sit up, exhalation, open up the legs into the bottom. Opening up the legs, flying the butterfly, you know, whatever, whatever this butterfly needs today. Right, have your chest open, straight spine, hold it for three. Two and one. From here, let's roll down on your back. Having the butterfly here on the ground. Three, two, and one. Let's go for a shoulder stand. Lift your legs up, lift your butt off the ground. Hold it for three, shoulder stand. Two, and one, 
Inhalation, lift up, cross the legs into the cross leg position. Yoga mudra, one of the final poses. Inhaling, open up the chest. Exhaling, forward. Holding for three. Two. One. Inhaling, open. Keep lifting your arms up behind the back. Keep lifting them up. Exhale down. Well done. You're almost done. So we're going for the last five minutes on the ground into relaxation pose. Savasana. So lay down on the ground. Separate the feet. Keep breath up. up. I'm going to turn off the music so we can relax and be quiet. So the first objective for Savasana is to relax your physical body. Try to relax all the muscles. So bring your feet hip to the park, opening the palms facing upwards, chin back in. Relax the facial muscles as well, eyes, and all the other muscles in the body. If you're not sure, then just go and ask every part of the body if it is relaxed. And once your physical body is relaxed, switch your focus, your breath. If you're practicing with dry breathing during the class, release it now. And let the breath return to the regular breathing. And there's not much to do here. Could get a bit boring here if you're not able to train your mind. So all you have to do is observe the breath. And try to not engage in your thoughts. Just accept them, let them be, and continue observing your breath, expressing gratitude. First and foremost, be grateful. If you cannot be grateful, that means you're not looking hard enough. You're just or from robbing yourself off on the pleasure of being grateful. Even being alive can be something to be grateful. Having a sunny day, having a roof over the head. There's so many reasons to be grateful. Speak one that makes you feel this emotion right now and enjoy it. Seriously, enjoy it.
that moving finger loopholes shift your attention back to your physical body. Have a stretch here. And then bend your knees and roll on to the right side of the body. You stay here for a while or lift up to the easy seated position. With your eyes closed, chest open, straight spine. You can bring your arms on top of your knees. Stand here once you're seated, observing your body. Observe how you feel after the class. And then also observe your mind. What thoughts you're having. What kind of emotions you feel. Observe your heart. And let's finish the class. Chanting three times mantra om, which consists of three sounds up, up, and mm. With the inhalation, bring arms up above the head, great position. Exhale, knee now over in front of the chest. Take a deep breath in and prepare the first of three. Oh. Once more before opening up the eyes, express the gratitude. Finding time. Open up the eyes. Namaste. Congratulations for making it to the very end of the class. If you like the class, please press like, share it with one friend. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to either write it in comments or just write me a private message. Always have a smile, stay present, and see you in the next one.